Okay, thank you. Thank you, Angela. And this is the last of these uh, four lectures. And uh, uh, what I'm going to tell you about uh, is um, the kind of, uh, of calculations uh, in nuclear physics that you are trying to do here uh, in Trento together with my students and together with uh, um, a both theoretical and experimental group uh, at, uh, at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Just to give you another perspective, I mean, just to, I think that if I have to, to throw there a punchline, uh, the idea is, is that what I told you uh, so far is, uh, um, is probably what quantum computing uh, will definitely become one day in the sense that uh, uh, one can expect uh, that at a certain point the, the devices are sufficiently robust to, to, to uh, um, to allow the development of uh, uh, some kind of uh, computer science that, that, that would be uh, independent in, in a way of, of the, the, the physical architecture of, uh, of the quantum computer. Um, I would say that right now we are not quite there yet. Uh, in some sense, uh, you can have you can have two approaches to, to in general mm, to, to this business of quantum computing. Um, one is to to adapt. Mm, if you really want, at first, I mean, you can you can always do theory. I mean, theory comes for free, uh, but. Uh, I think that especially as nuclear physicists, uh, self, uh, self referring theory is, is not, uh, is not what you want to do in general. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to, 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 to have some contact with the experiments in, in, in many ways. In this case, for instance, both in the sense that we want to, 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 uh, to get some numbers <laughs> in the end, I mean, it might not be interesting in, in uh, just in the, the, the foundational aspects of quantum mechanics, because that's that's not our, uh, uh, we'll, I mean, we, we obviously are interested to date, but uh, um, this is not what we chose to, to, to do hmm, in general for, for living. Uh, and second, uh, say, I mean, uh, uh, it goes together with the, the, this first statement, uh, you want to have a contact with, with the, 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 the machine in the sense that uh, uh, you want to, to be able to, to, to do some calculation, mm -hmm. you, you want to do something practical. So, uh, uh, in, in this, uh, yesterday I mentioned this, uh, this NISC, mm -hmm. Uh, this needs Kira, hmm? and, and this is where we are right now. So uh, the, the, the machines are still noisy. Uh, they are not uh, very big, so uh, somehow the the the, the, capa the capability, let's say, uh, uh, the capabilities of of, uh, of the machines are, are limited, and so. If you want, if you really want to get out some some number, you have to to go to to a level of interaction with the machine, which goes definitely beyond uh, beyond the code that, that, that you send to the machine. And as I said, I was starting to say at the beginning. Uh, uh, you, one can foresee the fact that in within a certain number of years, uh, maybe not so many, uh, quantum computing was one of the, the subjects about which everything was going to happen in 10 years. And uh, everything has been going to happen in 10 years for like 30 years, something like that. So, you know, uh, uh, one might uh, one might still be skeptical, and <laughs> one might have the right all the right to be skeptical, also also these days. But uh, 
I was one of the skeptical ones, definitely. I, I just decided uh, 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 to ignore quantum computing for, for uh, um, um, probably, yes, for, for, since, since I, I got involved in computational physics, which, uh, uh, which has been for a while. And uh, the, the, the reason was that uh, I wasn't a, a believer, quotation marks, so the, the, the somehow uh, believing in quantum computers was like believing the UFOs and for, for a while, because you know there, there was a lot of theory. Of course, uh, many people, well, many, but not so many, working on, on, uh, on some general aspects, uh, algorithms, and, and so on. When, uh, you know, from that, uh, a lot of uh, legends like, uh, well, legends, it's, it's true in some sense, but, <laughs> but it was like a legend at the, the, the time. If we have a quantum computer, then we will be able to crack. Uh, all your bank accounts, uh, blah, 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 things, things like that, you know, but it is, uh, now, now something has changed, hmm? something has changed. And what, what changed is the fact that you really start having uh, uh, devices around. Hmm? And I hope that what, what you will, are going to do tomorrow morning uh, will convince you that, uh, uh, yes, I mean, what you can do is still limited, but uh, uh, um, you, you can do hmm, something. Uh, this, is, this is the big difference. While uh, uh, until, say, three, four years ago, everything was like in, um, up in the air. Now, now uh, you have devices. Hmm? So you can think that in a few years, maybe the devices will be sufficiently robust to allow for you to, to access to any device, say, independent of the architecture, write your code and run your code hmm? uh, without, uh, uh, without having to care too much about what's underneath. Hmm? Uh, and this is kind of one of the, the, the uh, the butterflies are I'm running after these days, and, and uh, we we'll see uh, where it goes. But uh, uh, still, it's it's something something that, that one one can realistically imagine is going to happen, not not very far away in time. However, uh, there is still an interval of time which you have to talk to the experimentalists very heavily. So, quantum computing is not just a matter of learning some some technical uh, uh, some te technicalities from 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 the, the, the point of view of programming. Mm -hmm. It's so it's not like you know the, the, I, I'm going to learn Python and and, uh, and 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 I'm writing down some codes and then I can run wherever. Right now, uh, you have to 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 talk to the experimentalists. You know, you have to know what the machine can or cannot do. And you have to to optimize uh, essentially what you do for the, that specific machine, uh, and, and and this is still uh, uh, um, right now hmm, one one of the the, the the few foreseeable ways in which you, you can imagine getting some number in, in in a day that is not too far, hmm, a few years away possibly, we might be able to to. To get to get the computation of some nuclear reaction hmm, with some realistic interactions, as I will show you in a moment, uh, this is what uh, uh, what we are trying to do. As well as, I mean, there might be the possibility of getting some meaningful nuclear structure calculation. There are already uh, quantum chem meaningful quantum chemistry calculations around. Uh, so this is very encouraging in that sense. Hmm? So uh, uh, that's that's why I'm going back a little bit to, to, to what I told you in 10 minutes yesterday. So the, 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 what, what, the, 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 
what is the kind of architecture that uh, that we have in mind hmm? so what i'm saying now uh, is not as general as i said so far hmm? in the sense that it, i'm i'm referring to this special kind of architecture which is based on uh, on, on circuit the so called circuit qed hmm? circuit quantum electrodynamics that uh, uh, that we briefly mentioned yesterday hmm? Now, uh, 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 remember that uh, um, the device that we're talking about is very schematically, hmm? of course, the key, the, the, again, the, there are details that, that go beyond the scheme, but schematically, uh, this is sufficiently general. Uh, you have a, a cavity, hmm? you have a cavity that is characterized by, uh, by some frequency. Hmm? And uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can sort of call omega r the frequency which is uh, associated to 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 the cavity and and this is sort of the 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 the, the energy interval hmm, that, that that characterizes the level of this cavity. This this is a perfect. Uh, harmonic oscillator, so delta E, if you want, is, is this small interval here. Uh, okay, all, the, all this energy. And we said that this, this cavity is, is more or less useless. As a, as a, it would be a nice, a nice uh, uh, quantum device uh, that, uh, uh, if controllable, hmm? uh, so if you can actually try to, to uh, um, to force it into some state and you can actually read out the the, the state of the cavity it might be a, a an example of a qubit because you just fill up these levels with photons but uh, the problem is that uh, the spectrum that you would get in the end of the spectrum would be uh, um, unfortunately uh, uh, made up of lines that, that uh, correspond to, to a number of the generate trans uh, transitions. So uh, it's very difficult to, to, to it, it's possible in, in practice to, uh, to be able to distinguish among uh, uh, many states that, that, uh, that are the generate when it's time to, to, to measure, uh, when it's time to, to make a spectroscopy of this cavity. But you can always imagine that you can send in some uh, some way you make a scan and you get uh, and you get, uh, for instance, in the same the, the analogs of of the, the spectrum that you get out of an atom hmm, or, or a molecule. Uh, on the other hand, you can, you can couple this uh, 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 this object with uh, uh, with a nonlinear with a nonlinear uh, element and. Uh, Essentially, you, one can show, and I'm not going through this in more detail because it's a bit boring, but uh, you can show that uh, all, all together the, the, the Hamiltonian hmm, can be seen, the Hamiltonian of the total of this. Um, of this coupled system mm -hmm. uh, is something like h bar omega t a dagger t a t which this is the the the, um, the part of the Hamiltonian that excites mm, uh, uh, levels in, uh, in the nonlinear part that you have the readout so-called readout frequency which is the the main ba the, the, the base frequency of the system mm -hmm. each one of this uh, uh, creation of uh, uh, and destruction uh, 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 operators mm -hmm. uh, can can excite modes in, in, uh, for 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 these two if you want if you, if you, if you imagine that the, this uh, this parts are, are separated. Of course, there is a coupling and this coupling in general is given by a term that takes into account the, the properties of, 
the Josephson junction. And the, and the interesting thing is that this part is something that is related to the cosine of, of the phase of the current, phase difference of the current that, that flows across the, the, the Josephson junction. Uh, and then there is also a, a term which is phi square R. Hmm? So this is ki kind of the, the, the Hamiltonian that, uh, uh, that you want to use uh, 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 to describe your system. Of course, then there is, a, there is a, a, an external line, hmm? an external line that carries a signal. What is the... the, the uh, uh, the role of this external line, well, essentially the idea is that here you can throw in some, some poles, hmm? uh, uh, electromagnetic poles, which is of course a mixture of, uh, um, of signals with, with, uh, with different frequencies. And of course, each frequency uh, uh, or, or say, I mean, the, the, the various components are those that sort of mix up the, the photons in, 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 uh, in the cavity. And, and that can actually uh, uh, either drive hmm, the, the, the system that we, we yesterday told you the, the has, uh, the, the, the fact that you have this cosine here hmm, gives you a sort of potential that, uh, that is no longer a, a harmonic potential. You have some unharmonic, unharmonic, uh, um, components in it. Mm. And uh, uh, these anharmonic components are those that allow the, 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 the cavity to be usable in that sense. Mm. So if, if you send in a, a, a signal mm, that sort of has a, a, a combination of the frequencies that are necessary to, to either excite mm, the system uh, uh, from one state to, to, to another, mm? throwing in the energy which is sufficient to, to, uh, to load or unload photons from, from, from one of the levels. Mm? Or on the other hand, uh, uh, you can use the same kind of, of signal to, to, to sort of test and probe the, the, the state of, um, of the cavity. Mm? Well, this is what makes your system, your computer, talking to, 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 to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, one has to take into account the fact that this is not an isolated system uh, uh, by definition, because uh, if you want to use it, uh, the very fact that you want to use it introduces a coupling that, that is responsible, as we said, uh, as we saw yesterday, of, uh, um, of all those uh, 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 phenomena of uh, uh, dissipation and decoherence that uh, uh, sort of uh, ruin, destroy hmm, the, 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 um, the state of, uh, of the system and that essentially give you problems, hmm, gives you problems when it's time to, to uh, um, uh, to actually get the results of, of, uh, of your calculation, because uh, if it was just a matter of having an, an isolated uh, qubit and, uh, which, which evolves by itself in, in, uh, in time, that is perfectly fine. But the very fact that you have to, to, to do something on it introduces at this level, if you want, hmm? introduces the coupling that, that, uh, that is actually your enemy. So um, in some sense, the, the problem of the experimental problem of uh, constructing these systems is intrinsically hard <laughs> because uh, you, you have to minimize uh, uh, this, this kind of interaction, but still leaving the, the, a certain efficiency that allows you to actually do the, the operations you need to do. Hmm? Now, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with this kind of, uh, uh, to this kind of Hamiltonian, you can add, as I just said, uh, what is the, the okay, I'll just not change slide. Oops. 
let me erase. Okay, clear tools. Okay. So uh, um, typically, uh, to 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 the basic Hamiltonian of the cavity, you can add. Hmm, as I said, this control, this control term, which is the, the, the poles mm, that, that you send in, the electromagnetic poles typically that you send in, in the cavity. Mm. And uh, this in, in general can be, uh, um, can be written as the, 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 the superposition of two uh, uh, time dependent functions, mm, which somehow uh, represent uh, uh, if you want the real part in the imaginary part of this uh, complex signal that you throw into the, 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 the cavity. Mm. And, uh, um, and that actually has to be tuned in such a way that, that, that the operation that you perform on the cavity is the, 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 the operation needed. Remember that the, the target of all this is uh, essentially to take some uh, uh, at the system, your cavity, which is in some state psi. Hmm? This cavity uh, can have n levels in principle. So uh, you can have uh, uh, two levels, and this would be, we can consider in principle. I mean, in principle, we have an, if, if it is really something like a, uh, um, the potential is like a cosine, as we saw, hmm? uh, there are many, many, many levels that you can, that you can uh, uh, consider. But if, where, the, where the potential gets flatter, of course, the, the, these levels for instance, get, become very close, it may be very difficult to, to, to distinguish uh, uh, among them. So there are a few, and it's up to you, uh, or up to you in the sense, up to the, 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 your, fr your uh, friend in the laboratory, uh, to be able to clearly uh, address and measure the, 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 the system in reliably uh, in uh, as many states as, as, uh, as you can afford. Hmm? So uh, uh, in general, these are machines that, that uh, can be considered uh, as a collection, of, uh, one single collection of qubits, as we said. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, this, the, the state of the, 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 of the machine is a state that, that uh, can be represented in terms of uh, uh, whatever number of levels you have. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could also have a, an odd number of levels. Could have a treat, for instance, a system with three levels, mm -hmm. and so uh, uh, you would have something like two to the third mm, states because each state can be empty or or filled, for instance. But you could have more. You could have uh, the possibility of of uh, uh, also addressing states which have more than one photon in. in, uh, in um, one level, so it, depend, it really depends on as, as experimentalist you, you try to, to uh, you try to do. Hmm? Uh, uh, but in that sense, you have to know what what's going on hmm? because the, the, what's what's going on in the machine. I mean, uh, uh, defines what you can do or not do with the machine itself. But at the end of the day, you want to, to be able to, to apply some unitary transformation to the state and get some, uh, some final state, which is different from, from the previous one. So you need to be able to manipulate hmm, this, uh, um, this, uh, uh, this cavity. This can be done only by adding some, some interaction term of this kind. Uh, one interesting thing is that this, uh, this cosine, if you want another uh, int, uh, uh, you, you, you can actually you can actually expand this cosine and, and, and you would start with terms that, uh, uh, for instance, contain some coupling uh, between uh, uh, between the, 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 the of course, the, the I 
can try to this thing. This is very okay. Uh, plus something which is, for instance, order the, the phase difference to, 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 to the six. So, uh, of course, of course, this uh, uh, these terms you see represent some terms that uh, might give some sort of interaction, and uh, this this interaction could be uh, depending on whether you want it or not, be part of the Hamiltonian. Uh, that that you uh, that you consider here as the Hamiltonian of the cavity. I mean, since you have to simulate, if you want, your system, your quantum system, you have to. In the end, the idea, and we will come to, to that point in, in a second. Uh, uh, the idea is that uh, you have a cavity that that does what it wants to do. Okay, this the system, this cavity, coupled to the, the Josephson junction. As it's own Hamiltonian, and you can throw in signals and you can play with this cavity. But the Hamiltonian is the Hamiltonian of the cavity. Okay, so uh, uh, unless you want to build a, a, a special cavity for each problem that, that you want to, to, to study, mm -hmm. uh, you must uh, be ready to, 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 to do some work in order to, to obtain the, 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 the signals hmm, that, that sort of transform hmm, the, your cavity into a simulator of the system that, that you want to study. Hmm. And notice that this, I mean, this is not just uh, uh, something that you do in an analogic sense, in the sense that you, you might say, okay, I have we will we, we see that mm -hmm. uh, I have I have a certain physical system and I really want to reproduce say the Hamiltonian of that specific uh, physical system on the machine. Mm -hmm. Then of course I have to do some manipulations in such a way that the Hamiltonian becomes really becomes the Hamiltonian of the system that uh, uh, that I want to study. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, uh, even if you want to, to, to create a gate, as, as the, one of the gates that we talked about in, uh, in the last two classes, mm -hmm. uh, building a gate uh, uh, still corresponds to perform an operation of this kind. Because, say, uh, uh, when you when you write another Mar gate on the paper, that that. That is not something that, that happens magically uh, just because you think it happens. This is something that has to be implemented you know, in, on the machine. This means that, for instance, uh, uh, on, on this machine, uh, you have an Hamiltonian, which is what it is, depends on the construction. And you have to feed some external uh, signal that once you prepare your cavity in a certain state, hmm? <laughs> the, the, the signal has the effect of transforming hmm? of, of in a finite time, by the way, because this, this cannot happen instantaneously. Hmm? Uh, this means that, that you are applying hmm? an external perturbation to, 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 uh, uh, to your system. And in a finite time, hmm? uh, uh, your system, your QPU, uh, your uh, your qubit or qdit has to uh, to go from from the initial state to, to whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So this time, which is a finite time, is is a, a sort of the 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 in in, in the digital picture uh, becomes like the, the 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 time that is dictated by the clock mm, in in a classical machine in a way because. Uh, it takes, since performing an operation on this quantum system takes some time, uh, uh, if, you, if you apply a number of operations uh, 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 in sequence, of course, uh, the, the time it takes will, will be, will be uh, uh, the sum of uh, uh, the times taken by each operation. Uh, that's, that's, that's exactly like 
like in the classical machine, okay? So uh, I want you to be aware of the fact that uh, uh, these details are still important. Why is why it's important? Well, uh, uh, they have to complete the, 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 the concept. Uh, I was telling you, okay, you can, for instance, uh, uh, expand uh, this, uh, um, this cosine into a term that contains the, the, this, uh, this coupling mm, with, with some constant chi. So you might say, okay, I don't care about, about uh, this, this term if uh, chi is sufficiently small. Mm. And so I can just imagine that uh, my, my cavity is described by, uh, uh, by terms that, that are essentially uh, of, uh, of the, the, the harmonic terms. Mm. Mm. But there might be situations in which I want to have these terms. Okay, these terms might be useful to, 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 to obtain the Hamiltonian I want to, 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 to obtain in some case. Uh, so sorry, I, Francesco. Uh, yes. Uh, there is an interesting um, question. If you give a oh, read at the chat, there is a, someone asking uh, if you have a more complex system such as a column potential or something different. What happens? Uh, I was trying to, 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 is it in the chat? No. Yes. I can see it. Why, why can't I see it? Uh, you should keep the chat open. No, I keep the chat open, but I don't see the, the well, ah, I know what, what's going on maybe. Ah, okay, sure. Uh, okay, sorry, because I, what if one was studying more complex systems such as school of potential or something different? Do we have to add some more gates? Yes, so that, that's exactly where I want to go, okay? And, and, uh, and getting there a, a bit slowly, uh, maybe, but the point is that uh, uh, in general, if, if you want to, uh, uh, to study a, a, a more and more complex interaction, hmm, you have to construct a, a, a circuit in general that, 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 is, that is getting more and more complex. So my point is that uh, uh, constructing a circuit or, uh, uh, in some sense is one way in which it, you can manipulate your machine. So if you have a very complex potential, it might be worth trying to go a little bit more in, in, in depth hmm, in the structure of the machine. And maybe you can save time by exploiting the fact that the, 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 the Hamiltonian of the machine uh, as a certain form and with a manipulation of this kind, you can actually try to put directly in, in, on your machine or in, in a more convenient way, uh, uh, the Hamiltonian that describes your system, the, the, the physical system that you want to study. Hmm? So the, what, what the, the message I want to, to pass here is that, uh, um, in, at this stage uh, uh, of, of the business, mm, uh, if you want to study realistic systems and not just model systems, mm, it might be worth getting to a, a, a level of the knowledge of the machine, which is much deeper than just the one that you could have uh, uh, um, Looking, look, looking at, at a generic uh, 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 book of uh, theory of, uh, of quantum computing, okay? Because the, 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 there is much more freedom than, 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 than what you imagine. And this is, the, in general, we would like to, to, to be able to avoid that. Hmm? Because it's like if, uh, uh, this is what's happening, I mean, uh, 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 I am in my 50s and people of my age or, or just a little older than me and maybe a little younger uh, uh, might remember that uh, uh, there used to be these this home computers, the small home computers uh, 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 that were programmable typically in basic at the time and uh, uh, that had relatively limited functionalities. 
However, uh, uh, many, in many applications, and especially video games, mm -hmm. uh, um, you could find in, in the code, in the source, uh, a lot of uh, uh, pieces of code that, uh, that were written in machine, uh, in machine language. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason to use machine language was that uh, uh, expressing the same, the same code, mm, performing the same operation in basic, uh, uh, writing a code in a piece of code in basic was, was very, very, very inefficient. Mm, because basic was an interpreted language, by the way. So, uh, so we, we are a little bit in the same situation here. Mm. Uh, if, if you can talk to the machine at a, at a more fundamental level, mm, you can reach the, 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 the kind of efficiency that allows you to get uh, uh, done with some realistic simulation, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach. If you just want to, 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 to learn quantum computing in terms of let me write down the circuit with, with uh, an elementary set of, of gates. Okay, this is where we are. If you want to write cool video games with a quantum computer, you need machine language. Okay, that's it, it, we are back to the eighties hmm? in that sense, which is fine. I mean, uh, uh, I had to skip that, that era for for classical computer uh, for classical computing, and I regret that. And now I'm enjoying this with quantum computers. I mean, that's. Uh, somehow it's uh, it's fun. Hmm? It's very fun. Um, okay, so how do you how do you uh, uh, drive manipulate your your cavity? Hmm? Uh, here here I would like to have the projector and and the blackboard at the same at the same time. Because I'm, oh, I'm doing a lot of uh, undo. Okay, we should be good now. Hmm? And I have here the correct. Okay, I'm just. So the, the, the idea is that. In general, if uh, uh, if you want to, to study a system, so first let, let's let's decide what we want to 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 study about about our system hmm? because not all the the, the, the the simulations are obviously the same hmm? in that sense. Uh, I, I told you that whatever whatever you want to do, it has to be translated into a unitary operation on on uh, on the state of your machine. Hmm? So one of the the, the cool problems hmm, that that you can uh, that you can think is uh, uh, solving the, the 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 time evolution of a system. Hmm? Yesterday I was giving a class to my. Uh, students, my master students, and I was just explaining the, the, the simple crank Nicholson uh, uh, um, algorithm to 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 to, uh, uh, to solve the time dependent Schrodinger equation, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I was saying that yes, that, that's nice because you, you can you can produce all these these cool movies of of the the, the wave packet that goes. That it hits a potential barrier and part is reflected, part part is transmitted, and you see all, the, all this, uh, um, all the transformations that the wave undergoes while it's in interaction with the, with the barrier and blah blah. That's that's very nice. But the problem is that you can do that in one dimension. You can do it in two dimensions. If you are very good, you can maybe try to do that in three dimensions, space dimensions plus one, of course. But when it's time to describe the scattering of two particles, uh, yes, you have to invoke symmetries to reduce the dimensionality. Otherwise, if you, if you wanted to, to, to study the problem in, uh, in six dimensions, that's probably already out of reach. And so, say, something like studying the dynamics of, 
of, uh, or an alpha particle, it's completely out of reach. And even, even if you use a stochastic approach of some kind, I mean, there, there are some versions, for instance, of, uh, of quantum Monte Carlo methods that, that sort of give you in a, not exactly, I mean, in, in, in a, in a semi-classical way, if you want, the, the, the direct dynamics of the system, or you can use mathematical tools like the feeling of transform or there are many ways in which you can try to cope with the problem, but the problem explodes very rapidly in your hands. And one reason is that uh, uh, the only way we know to, 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 to attack this problem, if you want, is that we, uh, uh, we do something like uh, time-dependent perturbation theory in which we have contributions and, uh, from, from phases relative to, to, to uh, um, different uh, um, uh, values of the energy that come from some of the energy that, that is referred to some basis that, that you want to use, for instance, to, to, to expand your, your wave function or something. And the, 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 generally with many of them, when you have a, a, this problem with many phases that, that, that are uh, uh, actually interfering uh, uh, to each other after a while, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's very difficult from, from a medical point of view to get any useful information. Mm -hmm. So somehow you have to, 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 to you need a, pro, a, a system, as I said yesterday, that allows you to do that, to that in, a, in a more fundamental way. So the idea is that if you have a, a, a system described by a physical Hamiltonian, H. So this is, for instance, a, a bunch of electrons interacting via Coulomb potential, hmm? something like that. Uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, you want you want to 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 to, uh, to generate hmm? the propagator that, that describes the evolution, the time evolution of the system over a certain interval, time interval t. Hmm? Okay, this is a unitary transformation, no question. So in that sense, the quantum computer is ideal mm, to, to, to study this kind of problem. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, it's, there, it's there for you. Mm? Like a quantum computer is something that uh, can, can very naturally describe a time evolution mm, of a system. Uh, well, the trick is the following, uh, and, and this is what is typically done in, in uh, one way or the other, mm, in, in different flavors in, in, in all quantum computers. Mm. So uh, this is sort of fundamental, <laughs> fundamental formula in the business, I regard it like that. This is the time order. Mm. So this is, is time ordering. So this is a time order product of a series of uh, a product. If, if you want this integral, it's, it's just a, 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 you can see it as a sum made on a continuum, if you want. Uh, that uh, but think of, think of it as a sum. Mm -hmm. Of uh, so this becomes a sort of composition. It's the time order uh, sequence of a series of. Uh, of uh, 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 propagators, each one of which is uh, uh, characterized by the Hamiltonian, which is the Hamiltonian of the machine. Hmm? So for instance, this is the Hamiltonian of the cavity as we wrote it in, in a, a moment ago. Hmm? Plus, some time-dependent uh, perturbation hmm, you can call it, per well, it's, it's not even a perturbation, it doesn't need to be perturbative at all, actually. Uh, so this is a time-dependent term, uh, uh, um, which uh, 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 
it could be of the, of the form. The, I mean, this is just a general a general expression of, of a form like the one that uh, uh, I showed you before. Something like epsilon t times a plus a dagger and or epsilon q t uh, uh, a dagger minus a. Okay. And what is the, okay? What is this uh, this uh, HC? So this HC is something like that, but this can be defined. As I said, this is this is a sort of a, a continuous sum. And, and when I'm saying that, I'm referring to the fact that each one of these terms, for instance, might be uh, uh, seen as a sort of uh, uh, um, term acting at a a, a, at a given instant, so th this uh, uh, f could be something like uh, an epsilon mm, of t, if you want, but but, but uh, times delta t minus t prime, if you want to see like it like that. In the sense that you imagine that you have your your time here, and each one of these Hamiltonians is essentially like a pulse mm, of a certain intensity epsilon. Mm, a, a given a time t. Hmm? So in, in, in general, this is in practice, this is what happens because uh, um, there is nothing in the world and no, 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 no hardware in the world that, uh, uh, that can give you hmm, as, a, as, a, as a result uh, um, a controlled continuum uh, continuum pulse. You could, you could generate pulses analogically in some way with, your, with the superposition of uh, of frequencies, uh, basic frequencies. Mm -hmm. So you could, for instance, well, it's like it's like when you when you use a synthesizer to to, to do music. Mm -hmm. That's another of my hidden lives and patience. Uh, 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 you can start from a bunch of wavelets and mix them together. To, to, to obtain some, some sort of analogic signal out of your uh, out of your uh, uh, loudspeaker. Uh, uh, the problem is that even the, even the wavelets are not defined in a continuum in general. I mean, these are tabulated on, on a discrete uh, on a discrete mesh. Hmm? And if you take a, a synthesizer from the the, the, the 70s, well, the, those those were really made up with with the, um, analogic oscillators, mm? uh, and you could just mix the 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 and and, and filter out the signals to, to obtain the the the, the, uh, the, the, the sound uh, you wanted mm? on a continuous spectrum. This is one of the reasons why it's uh, difficult to reproduce with digital uh, uh, machines <laughs> the same kind of sounding of, of the time, mm -hmm. and this is the same thing here. I mean, you cannot you cannot strictly speaking generating easily an arbitrary uh, uh, pulse, which is simply the the, the, the sum. Mm -hmm. You could see the sum of all these terms mm -hmm. as as a, a, a as a pulse because you would have a teach time t, mm, a certain amplitude mm, of this of the signal, something like that. Mm. And, and altogether, this gives you a waveform, mm, if you want. And this is the epsilon of t that you've been mentioning earlier. Uh, of course, this is digitalized. Uh, modern instruments can, uh, can sample a signal with sufficient accuracy for, for the purposes, but this is strictly digitalized. So this integral, yes, is formal, but in practice, what you get is a sum hmm, here, on, at, at the, the, the exponent. And so uh, you can really imagine that uh, whatever you try to do hmm, to, to your system, it boils down to uh, applying a, a sequence, a very fast sequence of uh, unitary transformations. Hmm, which in the end amount mm, to the unitary transformation over, over this time t mm, amounts to the, the unitary transformation that, that you want to apply. Okay. So this is the way in which you can uh, sort of overcome mm, uh, 
overcome, I mean, it's in the, the, in which you can uh, um, reconstruct hmm, an arbitrary gate, hmm, provided that you are able to, 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 to compute, uh, to compute this, uh, these pulses. I mean, here you have to solve a, a horrible, a horrible inverse problem, okay? Because uh, in general, you have your, your physical system. So the, the Hamiltonian H here is given. And uh, uh, what you want to do is uh, to, to, to be able to generate somehow the pulses epsilon that over the time t, hmm, which is the time over which you apply your, your gate, hmm, that you can scale, I mean, you, you, can, you can sort of rescale it to physical time uh, if you want, but the, the, the scaling of course is given by somehow uh, the, the, the units hmm, <laughs> that you're using in the cavity and in the problem. So for instance, here, this is another issue that we're going to, to, to discuss of course, but um, you might end up working uh, or you always end up working in, with, with the uh, physical systems, the, the cavity that uh, live on a completely different uh, length and time scale of, of, of the, the, the different from the, the one of the system that, that, you're, that you're interested in. So units conversion here is, is a critical issue in time, just to, to mention something. And uh, uh, um, so in order to, 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 to reproduce exactly the, 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 the Hamiltonian you want, you have to solve the, this inverse problem, okay? So you have to, to find the F here that, that uh, corresponds to given H. So uh, this is a complicated problem. There are many algorithms and many, I mean, there are a few algorithms say, on, on the market. Uh, one of, for instance, just to mention one, uh, uh, there is this algorithm that is available as a Python library as 17 days so almost these days. Um, this great algorithm states as gradient ascent pulse engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm, I'm not saying anything about this. Uh, 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 but uh, uh, just, just to, to give you a reference, if you want to, to go and read something. Uh, uh, essentially, once you have the, the, the unitary, hmm, you have a, your computational basis. Remember that you're always talking about a problem that is expressed uh, uh, in terms of, uh, 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 in the end of the day, uh, hmm of an expansion of, of your states over what you call the computational basis, which is essentially uh, uh, labeled hmm, by, uh, by the states of, uh, of your qubits. Hmm. So you have uh, all your states, you can compute essentially the, 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 the unitary, hmm, uh, the, the matrix elements of the unitary transformation on, over the, 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 the basis state. So you have a certain matrix. Hmm? And this algorithm is capable to, 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 to tell you what is the pulse hmm, that you have to, to throw, given, given certain characteristics of, uh, of the machines. Hmm? So assuming that you have a, a cavity that has a, an Hamiltonian as the one that I showed you before, which is just expressible as the, 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 the sum of, of two harmonic oscillators is capable to tell you what is the pulse that you have to apply over the time t in order to have the, 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 uh, the transformation hmm, that, that, uh, that you want. So it's, it's essentially 
the, the, the sequence of unitaries that transform this, this uh, uh, if you want, this, this matrix into the matrix that would correspond to the, 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 uh, the, the one that gives you the, the, the transformed state at time t. Hmm? So it's equivalent to, to, to apply the, the, the transformation over the time t. Hmm? And whatever, I mean, this, this could, I mean, what happens in this time t could be very weird in general, hmm? uh, in the sense that uh, you are interested only hmm, in, in the initial state and the final state. Hmm? You're not interested in general uh, on, on what happens on, on a finer scale, okay, uh, in, in, over time, in the sense that uh, the what, what what you're interested in is is the the the, the transformation hmm, over the time t hmm, and what makes the link with the physics is the transformation over the time t but whatever happens in between may be absolutely off uh, 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 zero uh, physical meaning hmm? this is very important to keep in mind because um, this is a sort of compromise uh, you don't you don't want to to, to simulate uh, in full uh, uh, your system on the quantum machine because this would be impossible i mean the, 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 uh, you have to, to to build the quantum machine as an, uh, an analogous of uh, of the system you want to study but this means to, to build a different machine for for each problem which doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. So you want some hardware that is sufficiently flexible to allow you to study a, a number of systems. On the other hand, uh, um, in, you lose the fact that uh, you have a, a description in full, if you want, of your system. The, 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 the description is still kind of digitalized in that sense. Okay, so. Uh, this doesn't mean this transformation doesn't mean that you map hmm, the, 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 the physical system on the machine in a strict way. The only thing that you are obtaining this way is the fact that unitary transformation corresponding, for instance, to a time evolution hmm, of the system with an Hamiltonian H. So this also means that that you have mapped your system onto some computational basis that, that, that is the one that you use in your machine and so on. So this expression can give you the, the, the mapping to go, to go back to here. But this is not transforming <laughs> your quantum machine into your system, okay? This is, a, this is an important point. Never, never think that that you can, because that's a different business. Okay, this is what uh, distinguishes the, the real analog simulation. So that upstairs here in Trento, uh, there are some people amusing themselves uh, uh, trying to to, uh, uh, to use cold atoms hmm? uh, uh, to simulate Hawking radiations out, uh, that, that comes outside of, of, of black holes. Okay. And uh, everything is very interesting. Uh, essentially, what uh, what is possible to see is that that uh, you really can map the the, the eventually uh, the equations that describe the, your, your cold atom system into into what. Uh, describes uh, uh, open radiation exiting uh, the, the, from from uh, from the the, 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 the black hole, uh, and the, the, this is really exploiting a, 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 an analog equivalence. So, so to, to some extent, you have you have your system, uh, uh, quantum system. You measure it, you look at what happens, and you can interpret directly if you want uh, uh, via uh, vocabulary, if you want the results into, into, into what happens in the other system. But this, this is what you call a, a quantum simulation in strict sense.
Okay, so you have, you have a quantum system that obeys the same equations that, as some other system. And so if I look at that, I can, I can also get information on the other one hmm? up to the degree of complexity that uh, allows you to match the equations. Hmm? Uh, the same thing as people saying uh, we simulate the, the, the inner core of uh, one neutron star with um, or no density neutron matter, not the inner, not the inner core, the, the, the outer core. Uh, Francesca, sorry to interrupt you. Yes. M maybe we can have a five minutes break? Sure. Okay. So I stop the registration for five minutes. Sure, why not? See yes. you soon. Thank you. Francesco? Sì, ci siamo, ricominciamo. Shall we start again? Yes, we can start again. We can definitely start again. Okay, so uh, uh, just to show you uh, a few things that uh, can be done in, in, uh, in this context, uh, uh, this is a, a recent work of uh, uh, one of, I mean, of my students all together, but in particular, uh, uh, Piero uh, uh, Lucchi. Um, and uh, the idea is that essentially, if you have to reconstruct these pulses for, for, uh, for some real physical case, uh, uh, this, this it's going to cost you. Hmm? I told you that uh, you have to solve this inverse problem, and this inverse problem has a very bad scaling in general. That they, if, you, if you increase the number of dimensions, the scaling can be as bad as exponential. Hmm? And uh, uh, you need you need some clever way of uh, uh, of being able to to. Um, avoid at the very least to compute um, pulses every time you, you need uh, to, to perform uh, uh, to perform one of these unitary transformations. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this is, for instance, a simple case that, uh, uh, that we have studied mm -hmm. and uh, just, just as an example, and the idea is that you start from a, a very simple Hamiltonian, which is that, that someone was talking about Coulomb. Hmm? And so you start from, from the Hamiltonian of the hydrogen atom, hmm? you do this uh, for, for a very basic, uh, very, very basic problem. And the idea is that, uh, as I told you, you solve, uh, you solve this equation hmm? for, uh, uh, for a given, uh, for a given time interval uh, delta t. Mm -hmm. So this means that you construct the unitary transformation that advances your system of uh, or a certain amount of time uh, uh, delta t. The, the, the hydrogen atom, in this case, what, what you're looking at is just the, 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 the ground state of, of the hydrogen atom uh, uh, expanded over a, a very simple basis, what is called the STO2G uh, basis, which is essentially made up of uh, uh, two Gaussians. Mm -hmm. So you take two Gaussians and you expand it, and one is the state of the hydrogen atom over these two Gaussians. There's certain coefficients, and if you uh, run, if you apply the, 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 the Hamiltonian, you, you will see Typically, the, the, the coefficients of, of uh, the expansion of these two states uh, oscillate in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, OK, so this is what you do. You, you, you throw the, 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 the Hamiltonian into, into this algorithm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you give some, because if you want to, to, to obtain 
a realistic pole, so you have to give some parameters of, uh, uh, of the machine, of the cavity, uh, which might or might not include also terms that account for the noise, but it's, in this case, uh, that is not. And uh, uh, you compute this portion. And what we were trying to do here is to, for instance, try to uh, be able to reconstruct the unitary transformation hmm, for an arbitrary value of delta t, hmm, starting from a given set of pulses that correspond to some fixed values of delta t. So you compute a pulse for, for uh, delta t 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, some units to 2 to 2.5, 3, and so on. And then you want to be able to reconstruct the pulse for, for any intermediate value, OK? So th this is a very simple problem. So the cost is still very affordable. Mm -hmm. But the idea here is uh, I don't want to, 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 to redo the calculation of these pulses every time I, I want to change for any reason in the world uh, uh, my time step mm -hmm. by which I study the time evolution of my uh, of my hydrogen atom. So you may say, oh, come on, the hydrogen atom, two states, uh, this is a boring problem. Yes, it, in some sense it is, but uh, um, this is kind of the level of, of what, what one can do uh, uh, to, to demonstrate certain techniques, okay? Uh, if, if you want, this is not this is not particularly different from testing some quantum Monte Carlo algorithm or some uh, efficient diagonalization scheme on on the beryllium atom, for instance, or something like that. I mean, this is something you, you typically do. So I'm saying this just because it might seem that uh, this is a kind of uh, very low level work. No, it's not because the, the, the demonstrating these concepts is still something that is needed for the moment. Anyway, so the, that's that's the, the problem. So what you do, you compute your pulses, then say, you, you try to fit these pulses with some polynomials and, and you get the, the dependence of the coefficients of the polynomials. This is an example for two of them, for instance, on the time interval. And, and then you reconstruct mm, from the fits the, a propagator for, a, 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 for an arbitrary polynomial and you simulate the application of the propagator a, 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 on, the, on the physical machine. And what you see is that uh, without noise, in this case, what you see is that everything works, works and, and the fidelity, uh, so it's, it's essentially again the distance of what you what you actually get hmm, in terms of the, the the propagated state from from the exact what would be the exact solution this, this can of course be solved also exactly uh, is extremely high okay so this is just a small example of the kind of uh, work that of, of course then you go beyond that and uh, uh, it's interesting for instance to see what happens if you have uh, a, a term which is like a berry phase, so uh, kind of a mass. You can take a mass that, that depends on time. Hmm? Uh, and then we showed you in the end, the world. now we talk about the nuclear systems. We show you in the end that uh, actually, um, if you want to study a reaction, this is what, 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 what you want to do in general, because we were, of course, we are not just thinking overnight of these problems, uh, uh, just to anticipate the problem is that uh, uh, if you have to study, for instance, the scattering of two particles, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Hamiltonian depends on the coordinates. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that is a natural parametrization mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that, uh, that you need to, to, to use, mm -hmm. whatever you're trying to do. Francesco? Oh. Yes. Can you can you illustrate a little bit just for me, just to remind me the, the fidelity diagram? That very small. Can, can you say a few words about what it's really shown there? I'm sorry. Did you, did you... Here, down here. Yes, yes, yes. What is actually? Really... No, down here. What you see is uh, the the um, 
uh, essentially is the, is the difference between what you would expect in terms of a, 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 um, a measure mm, of, of uh, in, in, the, in the Hilbert space. Okay, so uh, you can take whatever whatever you want as a uh, as a measure of the distance in some sense. But uh, uh, typically, if if you apply but this is numerical. You, you apply your matrix that represents your, your propagator hmm, on the initial state over a time t. And what you get in the end is uh, a, a set of coefficients that gives you the probabilities. The square gives you the probabilities. These are the amplitudes, okay, on the, on the uh, computational basis, hmm, if you want. And then uh, you do that for, for the exact solution. Hmm, you, they, you do that from this reconstruction uh, after this reconstruction procedure. Mm -hmm. Of course, the two, the two results might be a little different. Okay. Uh, um, these two results are a little different, and uh, 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 you, you can take the difference. You can, uh, I don't know, take, you can. You can take the, the sum of the squares, you can take uh, n square root, whatever you want. I mean, that's something that gives you uh, an estimate of, of uh, uh, how far you get from, from your target. And at that point, uh, uh, and at that point, uh, relative, mm, uh, so relative difference. And, and at that point, one minus that difference mm, gives you the, 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 the fidelity, okay? So you need, you need to know the exact solutions, eh? When you, when you do this? Yes, in general, yes. That's the, 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 and the behavior. It, it is always computed in terms of, uh, uh, of some exact. Exact. And, and the behavior is a function. So you, there you have the behavior as a function of delta t, isn't it? So. Oh, yes. This, this gives the, uh, the meaning. Well, it is some, some, some more the plot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it gets it gets worse mm, a little bit because it's, this is the difference, the deviation from the the the. the uh, um, so see, this is nine point nine 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 essentially mm, uh, uh, up here, and then this is the difference from there. Mm, so the the the, the uh, um, if you if you if you are here, so it's not actually actually you have to add uh, the, the, this this. Uh, uh, this number. So it's, uh, the, this tells you that essentially the difference between the, 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 the exact and what you get is, is very small here and it increases a little bit when, when you take a larger delta t and this is uh, simply due to the fact that uh, uh, the polynomial here hmm, gets coefficients that are larger so the reconstruction is a little bit uh, um, more difficult. Mm -hmm. Because the, the larger the derivatives get in your signal, and, and the more difficult it is to, to, to have a, 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 um, a faithful reconstruction of the signal. Okay, but this is this is sort of where you move. I mean, uh, it's a variation. So you have to imagine that one minus this thing here is 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 essentially the the, the, the measure of the fidelity. Mm -hmm. It's a Okay, thank you. There is a chat. I mean, it's pro this is this is confusing. This is misleading. I guess. But that's okay. I understand that. Yes, but there is a question in the chat for you. And I'd like to. There is a question in the chat which appeared again. I'm just jumping across. It's it's, it's somewhere the chat. Uh, let's see. I lost the window. I don't know. I can bring it up. Why is that? We can read it for you. Oh, no, no, I, I have it. I got it. I got it. Where is that? Oh, man. Okay. It does a scroll now. Let's see if now it scrolls. Oh, yes. There we go. Is this approach specific for the time evolution? Can you approach it some now with arbitrary units? No, no, no. That's that's uh, general. You can you can uh, of course okay. We have to distinguish because one thing is the fact that mm -hmm. sorry. Oh, okay. It was 
Ma per stasera c'era ancora quella metà di cane di ieri. Ah, ah, vabbè, comunque, se lo scongeli non fa niente. Ma poi tutto c'è ancora, quindi... Vabbè. Angela, un minuto. Yes? Microfono, Angela, di microfono. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, sorry, no, let's ask because I, I don't want to. Uh, uh, no, no, the, 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 the one thing is the time that it takes to, to so say, uh, of course, this will always be time uh, on this plot because the, this transformation has to be uh, performed over a certain amount of time. So the pulses depends on time, but the parameterization could be with respect to anything, okay? In general, the, 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 since you are studying a time evolution, mm, uh, you might be interested to see how certain parameters that, that, that depend on time, we will show you in a moment. I mean, the, 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 if you have two particles that, that collide, uh, their position depends on time. So uh, in general, step, uh, step after step, the Hamiltonian changes because the potential energy changes, okay? So in that sense, you parameterize uh, with respect to the coordinates. The coordinates are your parameters, but those depend on time. This is just because, in general, you might want directly to study a time evolution. But uh, uh, something similar, if you use what is called a variational quantum Hamiltonian solver, uh, for instance, uh, kind of algorithm in which you have a unitary that depends on time on, on some parameter. Mm -hmm. And you want to, 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 to implement the unitary uh, with this kind of technique rather than expanding it in gates, you, you can do the same thing with the parameter of the VQE. It's, it's exactly the same, uh, the same story, okay? Here we use time just because it's very, it's very natural to, 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 uh, to use just the delta T in the propagator as, as a parameter, but... Uh, uh, no, this is absolutely not limited to, 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 to cases like that. Then the lesson talk about quantum Monte Carlo. Could you say something more about it? If uh, they give me four more hours, I can uh, <laughs> give you another, another short course on that. It's, it's uh, yes, in, in the remaining 15 minutes, I think that- no, Or perhaps this afternoon. I could say something very quickly this afternoon, yes. It's up to you. If you want, I can say something about that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let me clear here and go on, otherwise... And so... Oh, I have to do that as well. Hmm? Now... Okay, the, the, let me show you this again. So uh, now we can understand better. I also showed this here, uh, this slide yesterday, but now we, you can understand really what's going on. This is physics mm, uh, in the sense that this is what really happens on, on, on some specific machine, which is a machine, this machine at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Mm. I told you that uh, you can take a unitary transformation. In this case, one is trying to simulate a gate. Okay, one of the gates that we saw. So this gate, uh, what, what this, this gate should do uh, is to take in a system that is made up by four levels. So this is kind of a, a two qubits uh, uh, system. Mm -hmm. so this, is, this is actually a single, four DIT, so uh, it's a cavity that, that has four levels mm, uh, accessible. So the computational base is independent of, you could label the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. We just call them 0, 1, 2, 3, it's the same thing. Okay, it's completely equivalent in that sense. Uh, uh, the target transformation is a transformation that uh, uh, essentially swaps the, 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 the state zero, mm, with the state two, okay? And the, the, the corresponding matrix, hmm? so the unitary matrix would be something like 0010, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
So this is exactly the kind of transformation that, that you want to apply. So you just apply the matrix to, on, on some state of the machine hmm? that could be 0, 1, 2, 3 in principle. Hmm? And what you want to see is that if you start from zero, you end in two. If you start in one, you stay in one. If you start in two, you end up in zero. And, and uh, if you start in four, you stay in four. Okay, fine. So you solve for this problem hmm, using the correct parameters. So this has to be done on a classical computer somewhere outside of, of the, 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 the quantum system. You solve for this uh, uh, for this control poles, hmm? and you get some some waveform, okay, for that. Uh, uh, the, these are the two components: the the, 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 the in phase and quadrature. What I told is that essentially regardless the real and, and imaginary part of the signal, okay. We, we, these are complicated waveforms, I and mean, this is what uh, uh, performing this operation is, is doing. Uh, uh, this is done over 50 nanoseconds. Hmm? So this tau here is, is 50 nanoseconds. So this is the, 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 the time over that, that the gate takes to, 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 to act. Uh, you pass this pulse to uh, a machine that translates your numerical uh, result into a physical pulse, okay? And then you go and, and you make, as I said, a, a, a number of measurements on your machine. So you see that here, this is done not just directly for only for, for, for the time tau, it's, it's also done for, for shorter times such a way that you see what is the evolution of, of the state of, uh, uh, of the machine hmm, uh, along, the, along the, the, the way. And uh, guess what? Hmm? Uh, you start in, in these pictures, the continuum lines hmm, are uh, simulations. Uh, uh, so essentially, this is what the lines are what you would get if uh, uh, if you just solve your, your problem on a computer, you know, classical computer, let's say, but the dots are measurements, actual measurements. So each dot is the results of many, uh, um, many, many, many measurements hmm, uh, performed at that given time. So because you need a statistic, this is the probability. What's plotted here is the probability of finding the machine in a given state, okay? Now, uh, you prepare the machine in state one, hmm? or oh, state zero, sorry, in state zero, orange is zero, which means that uh, uh, the probability of finding the machine in state one and state two, and uh, state three is not, uh, is not accounted for here, uh, uh, is zero, okay? And then you start applying applying the the, 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 the evolution hmm, for, for times that gets longer and longer and gets what you see that even experimentally you reproduce very well what is expected from from uh, from theory and notice that I told you that what you get in between uh, could be anything in principle so what what you are interested in is just the fact that if I start from from uh, uh, state zero, the application of, of, state of this gate should bring me uh, in, in state two hmm, of the cavity, uh, leaving essentially the other two untouched. This is, uh, how does this happen? Uh, this happens essentially by making the, 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 the cavity trans, uh, have a transition first to state two, hmm, while state zero essential state one sorry while state zero is decaying and then from from state one to state two and at the end of the day what you see is 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 this so you apply the gate 50 nanoseconds later you go read out and you you have what you want and in between many things happen same thing we said that you state if you start from one you want to, to remain in one uh, you start from one, and what happens is that uh, uh, this is quite, quite cool because the, 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 the one essentially excites 
gets exciting on two, but then two gets this excited on one again. Mm -hmm. And essentially there's almost nothing going on. There is some, mm, some uh, amplitude for, for the zero here in between, but not much. Look at, look at that, for instance, the fidelity here. You can, you can imagine that the fidelity here is the, 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 the difference that you get between the computer and, and the, the, the physical down here, roughly. It's not exactly that, but uh, uh, you see that here is a little worse than, than, than here. So what you get in the end depends also on the specific process. Same thing here, you start from two, two decays in one, hmm? And then uh, one decays in, in, in zero, okay? So this is what's really going on. When, when you go on the IBM machine and you say, okay, I'm applying an H. And yesterday we had these nice wires and squares and, and, and the C knots, uh, okay? This is what happens. And if you know that this is what happens, then you realize immediately that you might be able to, to extend your gates if you are able to, to manipulate the machine at this level. And just to finish, because otherwise uh, 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 this is going to become, uh, uh, to become, uh, I mean, I'm missing the, the, the nuclear physics. Uh, uh, so uh, the nuclear physics part, so the, the, sorry that we get here, but actually the nuclear physics part uh, at this point is, is sort of a clear, uh, it, it will become just the, the framework in some sense in which we work. So what we are, we are trying or we are aiming at these days is to, to, to be able to describe uh, uh, reactions between two neutrons. We started from two neutrons because they, you know, the interaction between a, a, a neutrons is simple because we have this isospin independent terms in general. So uh, uh, just not to become, uh, uh, not to, to, to have uh, too many troubles, we just speak on the, the simplest problem available. And uh, um, the Hamiltonian we are using is also extremely simple. Uh, it's, uh, it's simply a local chiral effective field theory potential, hmm, at least in order. So essentially you have just two contact terms regularized mm -hmm. uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with a quadratic, with a Gaussian regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, um, uh, and we also add uh, uh, one pi on exchange. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually the interesting part is the one pi on exchange because it gives you the, the structure, uh, an operatorial structure that uh, includes tensor. Mm -hmm. and, and tensor is, uh, already a sufficiently non-trivial uh, case for us concerns the, 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 the physics of the, the, the neutron spins, okay? That's the, 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 the a, a sort of the kind of uh, problem that we want to address. This is still a, a sufficiently realistic Hamiltonian for our purposes, because remember that here, before you can get and, and say, uh, I, I can go and compare, I don't know, the, 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 the phase shifts uh, at 300 MeV. Okay, that's, there will be a certain, a certain work to, to, to do. So, of course, the, the, we are not uh, here trying to get any, any new physics in that sense, but uh, we are trying to, to educate ourselves to, 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 to be able to deal with this kind of structures, which, which is already some sense of trivial. I mean, they, 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 if you start to, 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 uh, to use the, the, the Hamiltonian in a many body calculation, uh, you run very quickly in trouble. Uh, uh, so the, the general idea is that, uh, okay, we want to, to, to study, we want to study uh, the time evolution hmm, of, of the system. And uh, uh, this is a unitary transformation and uh, the, 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 um, the Hamiltonian can be uh, separated into kinetic energy. And what we do here is to separate into a spin independent and a spin dependent 
uh, term. Hmm? Since here in the, in the Hamiltonian, you have terms that contain, and, and you have seen this in the, the past classes, so I'm not saying anything about that, because you know that very well at this point, but you have a, a pieces containing the tensor and, 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 and the sigma dot sigma and also tau dot tau if you had protons around, uh, uh, not just neutrons, and, and terms that, that, are purely, uh, that are purely central. And you have here contact, for instance. Here you have uh, um, the local piece so from the one pi in exchange, then you have the contact, hmm, the, the spin independent contact and so on. Okay, so you just separate pieces that depend on the spin that, that from pieces that do not depend on the spin, okay? So uh, uh, if you take a small time, hmm, you can actually use a, a trotter breakup of this, uh, of this propagator and, and you can sort of separately study the, the, the space and the spin dynamics hmm, in some way. So the idea is that we first look at the spin dynamics, hmm? never mind the space dynamics. So you have a system that is parameterized by the coordinates of, uh, uh, so if you want to, from the, the, the distance vector between the, 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 two, the two neutrons. Hmm? And uh, uh, what we want to see is for a given distance, hmm, what would be the, the evolution of the spins over a, a a small time step. This is just for two particles. But if, if you think of doing this for, for n particles, remember <laughs> what I said in the first day. Hmm? This is a problem that explodes exponentially with the, with the number of particles. So uh, it's not as trivial as it might look. Hmm? We are doing it for two particles, but immediately, if you want to scale this, this, this becomes a, a very serious problem, just, just like that. Hmm? Now, the, the spin Hamiltonian, this what, what you can call, call the spin Hamiltonian at this point, uh, can be written uh, in a very compact way uh, as a sort of matrix uh, that depends on the relative coordinates of the, the, the two nucleons. Uh, uh, it's a bilinear form, uh, which uh, left and right, you have a, a, a spin, the Pauli matrix, if you want to have a spin operator, uh, 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 I is the, the, the index of the particles, so Ij, alpha and beta, x, y, z. Mm? So uh, you can just recombine all the, the, the terms that you have in, uh, in the Hamiltonian into this very simple uh, form. This is the most complicated spin problem that you can think of in general, okay? And what you do, what you do is to, uh, uh, to apply the, 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 the time evolution and we actually did that, uh, uh, let me just go here. Mm. We did that on the delivery machine. Mm. And what we got out of it is that the, the, the results that we get on the machines are, are extremely co consistent with the, 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 the results uh, of um, uh, from theory. This is, again illustrates the probability hmm, of, so here we are using a, a singlet and triplet uh, spin states basis because uh, we had to, 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 to essentially um, reduce the basis to three states. The fourth is uh, unessential. Hmm. But uh, uh, anyway, whatever, that's, this, this sort of represents the oscillations that the, the spins, the, or the two neutron spins have in time among, among the, the states that of, the, the, uh, uh, of the computational basis. Hmm? And this is quite cool because it's, this is a simulation of what we might think as a physical system. Hmm? And uh, uh, we are also very happy of the fact that uh, this works also from the experiment, not, not just in our mind, but it really works on the quantum machine. This is, this is a, a substantial result hmm? because the, 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 there is not much around uh, of this level. And so that simu really simulates a, a, a physical system. Oh, uh, interestingly enough, if you try to do oh, this... Francesco, sorry, before you carry on, 
Yes. Your time in principle is finished. So, I, in fact, I'm, so I'm, you decide what to do now. I, I have a couple, two slides. This and another one, and then I'm done. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, if you if you do if you do the same procedure on on a commercial machine like this is the machine of by by Rigetti, but uh, uh, you could do the same on the IBM machine or other. Look at what happens. I mean, the, 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 the result of the measurement hmm, actually after just a few oscillations decays into, into a situation in which the probability is about 0.25. It's about a one quarter for each of the states. Uh, what is the difference? The difference is that here you have to use gates. Hmm, so you have to decompose the, 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 the unitary into, into gates. Hmm, and this is the circuit that, that uh, actually implements the, the, the unitary. You, you see how many gates you have to use just for, for, for making one step. By the time you get down here, uh, the, 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 um, the, the QPU has decayed. And so uh, you, lose the, you lose all the information. Hmm? What we do here is to use this instead, this strategy in which uh, uh, we compute pulses that correspond to the unitary transformation that, that, that uh, implements the propagation with the, the spin Hamiltonian, and boom, 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 at, at each step we do the full, uh, 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 the full uh, um, propagation just in one, in one application of this uh, uh, engineered constructed gate. You see the difference. Here we get numbers. Uh, from here, you don't get numbers, you get nothing, okay? So the message here is that in this intermediate era, hmm, uh, it makes sense to, 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 to work with, with the experimentalists. And what you want to, 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 to do really is, is to, to, to try to understand very well what, what happens in, in these machines. Let me just show you the last, the very last, uh, um, slide because I think it's it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a kind of what we are trying to do these days. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is a plot that shows you two coordinates of the relative distance of two nu nu neutrons. Mm -hmm. This is in a semi-classical approximation, so you, you sort of treat the the the, 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 the dynamics of the two neutrons classically hmm? uh, with the central part with the non-spin dependent part of the interaction. So the two neutrons uh, uh, get together hmm? and zero essentially they collide. Okay, this is just the relative distance. Hmm? So you start in, in, in a, a for, a for fixed Z hmm? to, to move along X uh, uh, and you go and the two neutrons classically interact. So it means that they orbit around each other for a while and then they depart uh, along another, another direction, relative direction. This is what the spin does in the meantime. This is the evolution of the spin step by step in the interaction process. Okay. And you enter with the, 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 the two neutrons mm, in uh, uh, which have both spin up. Mm. Uh, the computational basis is this one. It doesn't mean three triplets of single. I mean, they have both spin up. Mm, so it's a mixture in principle. Here, anything happens. And in principle, you could go and, and check this out and look if there is something interesting happening here. When the two neutrons get out mm, on the other side, you see, these are the, 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 these are the probabilities of finding these two neutrons in a given spin state. So this is what you would measure. No? This is really having like a, a, a sort of reactor in, in your quantum chip, okay? And this is very cool and this is where we want to go. And I think that uh, is quite exciting. And uh, I hope that very soon we can really show results for something of physical, real physical meaning. But, the message is that quantum computing uh, in nuclear, for nuclear physics starts being real. Hmm? And uh, um, quoting uh, 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 the Big Bang's theory, uh, the, the, the physics is theoretical, but the, the fun is real in this case. Okay, so I hope that 
this is what the... you show what, what you call probability say is something that you where you have you had done statistics over it say on your simulation sure. yes everything is done so, by statistics here so you must have a lot uh -huh. you have to, to repeat the process many many times and and also what you have here in between is essentially obtained a, a sampling if you want the process many many times so so you'll have a certain variance say in your Say it again. Did you have a certain dispersion, say, of course, during, say, in your statistics. Oh, sure. Yes. That, 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 so uh, I don't, yeah. Okay. No, this is, this is still, uh, this is not done on the machine. This is still the preparation. There will be an experiment soon about that. But, okay. In which case, there will be, of course, out here some difference between what it, the, the, the prediction and, and the actual measurement. But I, I showed you that this is under control. With, with the techniques that we're using. 